Hello, uh, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Um, this game was a lot of fun for me the first time I played it. I don't know for sure how interesting it will be to watch, but hopefully it will be interesting, and if not, at least it's going to be fairly short, and um, I'm getting a bit tired of very long RPGs, so I thought for a change we would... Um, have a look at this uh, indie horror game. Now I know that says continue timeline, but actually this is a new game, I promise you. You'll see why it says continue timeline later. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for, like, ten minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not... not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and they hit it off. Yeah, that's, um... That's it. Yeah. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Okay, I'm just gonna take a second here to explain, because it's obviously not going to give me a break in the dialogue for a while. So, you choose uh, how to respond by clicking uh, with your mouse on whichever response you want to use, and sometimes you have the option to interrupt them um, while they're talking as well. You're playing as Alex, that's the girl with the blue hair and the red jacket um, and how you treat people in this game will affect what happens later in the game so uh, do choose carefully um, you're going to see the choices that I've made obviously but I'm not going to tell you which choices are right and which choices are wrong firstly because I still don't know for a hundred percent sure there might not even be um, always a right choice and um, secondly, if you want to play this yourself after you've watched it, I don't want to stop you from making your own choices. I think you should just choose whatever you feel like choosing, because that's part of the fun of this. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> yeah, well... You don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. 
And hear more about the fascinating events of this landmark, yeah. It's strange the things that stick to your brain, you know? Have you guys, um, done this a lot? Not spend the night, no, but visit? Yeah. I mean, since we were we ones. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our... Th Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh... Oh, actually, it's after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edward for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from the band, so... Hello? Hello? Anybody out there? Uh, out. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Um, did you, did, did you guys hear that last part? What part? Now, having played this before, and I'm sorry about this, but I, I didn't want to delete it and then download it and install it again. There are occasional references to the fact that I've already played this before in the same way that there are with Undertale. But it really doesn't affect it much. That's, uh, that's why it said continue timeline. I apologize for that. So with the radio, what you're going to want to do is move your mouse um, around, and that will change which uh, dial. Uh, which station it's tuned into. And that's all I have to say about that. Let's get back to the game. Sometimes you see my mouse. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Hoping those, uh, the graphics look as good on YouTube when it's being downloaded as they do for me. I think my video editing program doesn't help with that much, but hopefully it looks beautiful to you. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Jo no, Jonas, I, I have a feeling I know what you're going to say, and it's fine. Yeah, it's weird us living together now, but it's okay. Let's just meet up with our friends. Oh, um, okay, sure. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. 
Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. So to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts, all right. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freak out? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear... Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guide. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of the island where you can hear facts about different stuff. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub -chain. So yeah, we brought the radio because in the cave you can hear a bunch of spooky crap. Really? Really? No way, come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I'm not sure what the, uh, the speech bubble with the, the character's face on it, uh, means. I still haven't worked that out. But never mind. It doesn't seem to have a big effect on your choices in the game or anything like that. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something? She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man. That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery. The same parrot screaming at me. Well, of course you'd get bored. You're bored here. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. And sometimes Thanks so it's much for bringing me... Sometimes it's better to not say anything. Me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. We, um... We don't normally bicker so much. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. In fact, I'm going to try to remember to not say mouse because, well, it matters in this game what the other characters think of you. So I'm going to say, because otherwise I'd probably spoil this. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But and this is a map which you can get into any time by pressing CTRL. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it.
Even if it doesn't look as good to you as it does to me, the music's still great. It saves every time you go to a new area. If you ever need to save it, that's how it works. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Uh, just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> that's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name exactly? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah. What, what about me? What about you? Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah! Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um... What's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, I think it's just whatever. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as- No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it, a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. 
Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first we're gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm-hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just face it. No, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. (laughs) Okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Clarissa. Obviously. (laughs) Obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. Which means, of course, that you'd smother poor Nona with a pillow. Really? Nona? Just heartless. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. It's all right. I'd probably kill me, too. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the... I'm just pausing it, because... I don't really know who to... who to ask. I don't remember who I ended up asking something of last time. Platypus man. Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe, who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since, God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's Den. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother, pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. He, uh, seems okay, right? You're okay. Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't... Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom... You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... let's not stop like this. We should... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish... You be sure to just let me know. Super. (sighs) Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very clingy, Ren. (sighs) Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? 
But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like... Um, oh, by the way, to uh, move, you just press um, up, down, left, and right. Bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever you're about ready. God. Oh, what? They're so, deep. the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely ten. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me! Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, never mind, that sounds worse. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. It's not always in the on the same frequency. <laughs> This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. So yeah, you need to press shift to open the radio. Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... I'm just gonna go with blood curdling. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is going to sound stupid, but there's, like, something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like, 
a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. That was an... Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. I think you mean brownie. I think you mean... Oh, uh, yeah. And this episode has been going on for almost half an hour, I think. So it's time to end the episode. I will see you next time.